What is going on guys and welcome to today's video. Today we have a back day. Now the reason why I'm doing an updated back day is because I had a back day, like a raw back day, I want to say a few weeks ago. Um, and that one was cool and it worked and it honestly got me a ton of results and it definitely structured my back in a way that I wanted it to be, especially for the longest time because my back was just like very average. I've always had broad shoulders and a narrow waist, but I wanted it to be a little bit more structured and put a little bit more, not necessarily definition, but I just needed size and I just needed the right muscle groups targeted and I just didn't have that. So um, that, that back workout was good, but I want to, especially after working out with my friend Gary two weeks ago, it wasn't last week, yeah, it was two weeks ago. Um, I did record that video, I just didn't have enough footage so I didn't post it. But after working out with him and my back being sore the following day, I was like, ooh, you know what? I'm glad that I do things. This is this is also why it's important to do exercises and things that are out of your comfort zone, doing movements that you haven't done in a while, doing movements that you've never done before, because it hits different muscle groups or it hits your muscles in a different way that they're not used to. And so there's a new stimulus, which means that there's new ways to grow. So I was really happy that he took me through that workout because there are two or three exercises, I think it's three, new exercises that I'm gonna start incorporating, incorporating into my back workout just because I feel like they're really useful and it's a new stimulus, which means I have an opportunity to grow my back and get bigger and get stronger. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today, which is why I'm updating you guys on that. The other thing that I wanted to tell you guys is I got a shipment from Young LA. I have one coming in. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Just looking at the um, how fast it got to relatively close to where I am. It'll probably be here by tomorrow, um, but I did get one yesterday. Um, and I'm the type of person that likes like black shorts, like things that are very neutral. So I got these, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm not gonna wear them today. Um, I got another pair, which are these right here. Very, very similar to the other one, but it has like roses and stuff on it. And then I also got this pair, which is very, very nice actually. These actually turned out to be way better than I thought they were gonna, I don't know. So here, here's what happened. I saw that they were coming out with the after party shorts, which are the block party shorts, which were announced like two months ago. I saw that they were coming out with these and I wanted to get a bigger size just because the smalls always fit a little bit too tight for what I like. They still fit, but just a little bit too high and too tight. So I got these in a medium just to see. And one, they ended up being my favorite shorts better than the two black pairs of shorts. And they also fit just a little bit better than the other ones do. So I kind of wish I would have got the other pairs of shorts in black, I mean, in the medium, but it is what it is at this point. I'm still gonna wear all of them equally. Like they don't shrink in the wash or anything like that. They're not cotton. So um, I'm still happy with them. I actually forgot to mention something at the beginning of the video. I randomly decided to weigh myself this morning. I usually don't weigh myself at the beginning of the day on weekdays, on days that I have work and stuff like that. I weighed myself today. I was very surprised because I told you guys in the last video, I was like, I'm like 150, what? Okay, so I didn't weigh myself on yesterday. Yesterday was the last video that you guys saw. I'm recording this the day after yesterday's video. So I didn't record myself. I mean, see, I'm not getting all mixed up. I didn't weigh myself yesterday, but previously to weighing myself that day, I was like 150, like barely 151. I wasn't even, one, I was like 150.8 or nine or something like that. I weighed myself this morning and I was very surprised to find out that I was 154 and I was like, that can't be right. But I was like, I mean, dude, you slept a full eight hours. Nothing's in your stomach. You haven't drank anything. Like you might actually be 154. And I was like, nah, like I was just psyching myself. out. I was like, there's no way I'm 154 now. Then I put on this shirt and I don't know if you guys can see it. Like it's like hugging my biceps a little bit. Like it actually looks pretty good. And I was like, like just a few weeks ago, this shirt was fitting, not loose, but just looser than it usually does. And so I was like, dang, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I guess it was just water weight or call it whatever you want. But I'm actually 154 now. I feel pretty good. I don't feel necessarily any stronger. We'll see what happens today in the gym. Um, <laughs> once again, I say this in every video because it's it's still a very conscious thing for me. I don't know how much of the sets and, and reps and everything I'm going to record. I'll try to get at least one... Uh, one recording of each set. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I don't know if the angles are gonna be right. I still get a good amount of social anxiety when I record myself. Some days I really don't care. Some days like today when it's gonna be a packed gym, it's gonna be later in the day. 
I honestly might not care and there might not even be that many people, but yesterday when I was recording, there was barely any people, so it was a lot easier to record. Like there was like maybe 20 people in the entire gym. I genuinely didn't care. Like I wasn't worried about anything. Like I just recorded, I didn't care. Today's a little bit different. It's a uh, Tuesday night. It's a weekday night. So there's gonna be a lot of people there after work and stuff like that. It's 6.30, I usually get there around seven-ish. I don't know how much I'm gonna record. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Now I will actually see you guys at the gym.
just finished up the workout. Um, not a bad one. I'd probably rate it like eight-ish out of 10, which is close to the one that we had last week or close to the rating that we had for the chest day yesterday or the push day. Um, it was okay. Started off pretty strong, um, dipped a little bit, and then it came back up a little bit, and then it went back down. So it was kind of just like an average workout. It averaged itself out with the highs and lows of the whole workout, but um, it was pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The new movements that I, add, that I added that I was telling you guys about earlier in the video was the, um, I think they're called cable pull-throughs or pullovers, like uh, cable pullovers, I think that's what it's called. I, I'm getting them wrong. There's like pull-through and pull-over and I'm not sure which one is the actual correct term, but it's just like pulling it through. I feel that like all throughout my entire lats from to like the bottom all the way up to my armpit, love doing those. The contraction is really good. And the good thing about those is you don't have to try or go up and wait super high as long as you're keeping it moderate and you're making sure the contraction is heavy because your leverage is off because you're at a um you're standing back a little bit and aren't and leaning forward the higher weight isn't going to benefit you it's better to go at a lower weight and make sure the contraction is good because that's the one like if you go at a heavy weight you're literally just going to throw yourself off so um that one was good and then the other one that i added was the seated seated row so it was like the uh, the one right before the lap pull downs. That one is really good too because I feel that in my traps and just a bunch of muscles in my upper back. I can't even tell you which ones. Rear delts, traps. Um, there's some other ones like rhomboids and stuff like that. Hits all of those and I really really love it. That one also you do not you do not have to go super heavy to feel that one. It's actually beneficial if you don't go super heavy. Feel the contraction. Control the range of motion all the way through. And that's, that's honestly the theme for every single back day. You really don't have to go super heavy in weight. In fact, it's kind of, it, it takes you back and it's not as beneficial if you go super, super heavy because the point of back, because there's so many muscles and there's so many different angles and ways that you can hit it, it's better if you just use a light weight and contract and feel every single thing because it's so easy to hit the wrong muscle on a back exercise than it is to go super heavy and make sure you're moving the most amount of weight. I had to move the weight down for some of these exercises because it's literally just better for me to feel the contraction and feel it all the way through. It feels so much better than going at a heavier weight for literally every single, um, even biceps too, bicep curls. Controlling it and making sure that you get that peak contraction, I guarantee you it's gonna feel like nothing that you've ever felt before. You, you might even cramp up a little bit if you're actually doing it correctly, so. That's the end of the back day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys didn't, make sure you click the like button, channel blue. If you guys are new, and you wanna see all the future videos, anything like that. I think I have a full day of eating coming out very, very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.